Hey guys, Old Man Sneaks here. Welcome to another close-up and on-feet sneaker review. There seemed to be a lot of releases that sneakerheads hated this year. We had the Volt, the Patinas, and the Fusion Reds. And now this one, the Prototype. But being an Air Jordan 1 high, this will definitely sell out. So let's take a close look at the Air Jordan 1 high Prototype. We all know by now what the Jordan 1s look like, so let's dive straight to the interesting part of this release. You'll immediately notice the dashes of line around the ankle area where the high top cut starts. Unlike most people, I don't think you're meant to cut it. I mean you can, but I don't think it's explicitly promoted that way. Nike already has something like this when they released the Air Jordan 1 Switch, which by the way was just a few months ago. Now yes, you can cut it. But I would assume that you need some basic level of customization or at least sewing skills to clean it up, but that's just me. I know that I did say that it's not explicitly promoted to be cut, but when I first saw the weird colorway of the high top part, I immediately thought, well, oh yeah, that shit's gotta go. But you know what? It's growing on me now. I think it's an interesting color combination, granted that it might get tricky wearability wise. The materials are pretty much the standard fare. Um, the white base is made of smooth leather. The light blue leather around the ankle wrap is made of what feels like nubuck. And the same with the light beige leather wrapping. One of the somewhat interesting additions to this is the reflective material on the sides and around the toe box area. But nothing too fancy, really. I'll probably try to get another pair and cut it as I have something that I'm envisioning on how to clean this up when cut properly. And if I do, I'll definitely share it with you guys. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel, like and comment on this video, and follow me on Instagram.